Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? Tagus Naga Giants here with a uh, two package mail day for you guys. Uh, one of them I busted up, uh, busted open rather, last night, and I put the cards in some uh, nice holders. And the other one I got in uh, had this waiting in the mailbox for me this morning, so I went ahead and uh, pre shinged it, and we'll take a look inside together. It's a pretty nice card. But uh, I'm going to start off with uh, candy over here in Japan. It's Guriko Candy, Guriko Candy. And uh, I already popped the top on this one because I opened up with one of my students, and uh, it comes with a Star Wars rubber. Star Wars rubber strap, rather. <laughs> and there's uh, 10 of them in total. And it kind of gives you an idea what they look like. Uh, I know all the uh, the names are in Japanese, but you have Yoda, R2-D2, C-3PO. You have an Ewok, Chewbacca, uh, Bubba Fett, Darth Vader, Jabba the Hutt, uh, Stormtrooper, and Luke Skywalker. Those are the 10 characters. And I'll show you guys what I got. And this is a, a cell phone strap. And also works for a uh, for an iPhone as well. It comes with a headphone jack right here, but pretty cool looking thing. Um, I wish I would have got somebody a little bit better than Jabba the Hutt, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? Can't win them all. And the candy, it's actually inside here. It's uh, individually wrapped hard caramel heart shaped candies. So uh, there's only four of them per box, but they're kind of big, and uh, probably sharing those with some of my students. But uh, without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got in the mail. Uh, the first package that I got in is kind of like a lot, um, just a lot of different stuff in here. It's kind of a mixed mutt lot. But uh, starting off with uh, the packaging, the packaging is really cool. The guy that uh, shipped this to me, he, he likes to uh, include uh, these unique and old extras. And uh, just to add a little bit of extra protection, but I really enjoy getting these in as well. It's kind of fun. You can kind of see some of the tape residue that's left on there. But this is a, a Ruby Mateo from Skybox. What is this? No, 2001 Fleer, rather. Uh, EX. So that's pretty cool. It kind of has like a glitter shine to it. And then there's a, a Mike Hampton as well. So I really enjoy getting these kind of cards because I can share these with my students. Um, I give those away uh, when they come, into, uh, come to school. But um, we're going into the cards that I got in. Some Bowman Chrome stuff. Uh, blue refractors here. Uh, I got Jake Thompson. A uh, Socrates Brito. Probably the coolest name out there in the, in the prospects, uh, for all the prospects. So I think I might start chasing some of his cards just because of his name. I think it's pretty cool. Um, William Cuevas. And, yeah, these are numbered out of 250, by the way. So those are the blues. And I have a Christian Villanueva. This is a black, I believe, out of one, no, 99. 66 of 99. It's pretty cool. And then two golds. Lenny Linsky for the Rays and Todd Kibbe for the White Sox, both pitchers numbered out of uh, 50. So pretty cool stuff there. Um, let me know if you guys are interested. And also, does anybody know why these don't have like the first Bowman Chrome um, insignia up on the top? I'm just kind of curious. None of them say first Bowman Chrome anymore. So I'm not really sure if that's something that uh, Bowman or Top stopped doing. But I'll show you guys an example in a second. But uh, next up, these are a little bit nicer. Uh, this is uh, from 2008 Donruss Threads. Baseball Americana. It's a uh, Johnny Bench with a jersey swatch and letter of a C, and the shape of a C rather. And this is number 25 of 25. So a little eBay 101 action right there. It's pretty cool. And then uh, this is an example of first Bowman Chrome. This is a really dope Zoilo Almonte. He's having a great year so far for the Yankees. And as you can see, it says first Bowman Chrome. This is the blue refractor numbered out of 150. So if you guys are interested in this card right here, or uh, basically any of the cards you see in the video, just uh, hit me up. Um, this is a pretty dope card. And this is pretty... Uh, has quite a bit of value as well because he doesn't have much stuff on the market right now and he's doing really well so people are trying to chase down anything of his. Uh, next one is uh, from 2013 Top Series 2, Evan Gattis, 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 I believe, but this is the uh, Rookie uh, Black Border and this one's pretty dope. This is numbered out of 62. Very, very slick. So probably one of the hottest rookie cards you can pull from, uh, from this Series 2 product and a low number for the win. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit on the back because I think it's pretty cool. I'm not going to read it off, but I'll give you guys an opportunity to pause the video if you like and read it for yourself. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a nice little story about all the stuff that he's done. And um, yeah, I can see like somebody coming in, like Disney coming in, buying up the rights to his uh, story and maybe making a movie out of it. So pretty cool here. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one, but that's a pretty dope card. And then the last one, guys, I'm preaching this one already, and I pulled off the uh, the wrapping and stuff. But uh, this is from 2013 Museum Collection. This is the Asia edition, exclusive to only Asia. And uh, this is not a hit per se, but this is a rookie card. 
and the uh, this is of a uh, Manny Machado. Very very dope. This is the uh, I think they call this like the sapphire. Although it kind of has like a green tint to it, so I could be wrong. But this is like a uh, sapphire parallel number to fifty. Very very cool. Very low numbering for the win. And this is the uh, parallel. Uh, this numbering is only available in the Asia edition. So pretty dope right there. Let me know what you guys think. There's a back, by the way. Uh, do like me some museum. Uh, I'm, I was thinking about picking up some museum collection, the Asia edition, maybe doing a box break or something like that. But I've been seeing a few videos of live breaks and some forum posts or um, a Japanese blog posts, rather. And uh, it doesn't look very good. It seems like a very watered down product. Uh, 2011 Bowman, sorry, 2012 Bowman Sterling Japanese edition had a pretty good run over here. And I think Tops kind of a. Uh, um, went along and uh, kind of put out this museum collection, collection, the Asia edition, but uh, just kind of really watered it down because they knew that it'd sell out. And um, I don't know, I'm just not really seeing a lot of good stuff come out of it. But we'll see if the price drops a little bit. Maybe I'll pick up a box and maybe try to do a uh, another charity break. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. If you guys are interested in anything you see here, aside from the, I might hold on to these two right here, but if you like any of the Bowman Chrome stuff, Feel free to hit me up. So yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching as always, and uh, y'all stay classy. Talk to you later. Peace. Bye-bye.